hi guys welcome back to my channel this is a very different vlog to what i would normally do this is actually raw footage of different places that we went to and different things that we did so don't mind the editing and i'll take you on this journey with us so this is babylon supermarket in glasgow and it does fresh baklava it was really really nice we're really missing turkey at the moment and going on holiday so this was a really nice reminder of that so we got some and brought it home and had it with a nice cup of tea and it was so so good and this is some of the walks i've been going on this beautiful countryside walk just near my house beautiful weather we're starting to get now summer's kicked in quite late on so this is me trying to get my 10,000 steps so we just did a variety of things over the holidays so far weather's not been great but uh, this is one of the activities that we went to so we this is us heading to Guruk outdoor pool it's quite a drive it's just over an hour drive from where we live and it's on the coast um at Guruk it's an outdoor, supposed to be a heated pool, it actually wasn't really heated, it was just like a normal temperature and the weather was dull, overcast, but it wasn't cold and you can see this, you can see the coast as you're driving. It was a beautiful drive and we've really really been excited about this for quite a while. You don't need to book, you just turn up, uh, do the track and trace and pay and you only get a one hour slot. Uh, that's us there and that's us um, we had to walk down to the pool and I had to come dressed for swimming underneath our clothes and then put our stuff in baskets and go for a swim and it wasn't really that clean the pool it was quite dirty and we would just hoped it had been warm it is Scotland we're not in a tropical country so we do need a little bit of extra heat in the pool to keep us in there but I'm quite disappointed but I thought it's worth putting in the vlog and maybe other people have had different experiences of this place um, but the view was just magnificent if the sun was out and the pool was heated it would have just been perfect so that's this is us after we've had a wee swim Erha wasn't feeling too good so we had to come out earlier so we're all kind of still half soaking wet and we're just quickly had to get dressed and head uh, to head back but it had really really enjoyed it she loved playing in the water and splashing us <laughs> she's so naughty so in our back garden we've got these two small bird feeders I don't actually have them hanging off the wall but I wanted to show you guys this footage of this gang of crows that were attacking this um, fully stocked bird feeder. I was hoping that it would attack, attract beautiful rare birds which there have been but these crows absolutely mauled this. Um, There's like a nut feeder and a seed one and they just went for it so I actually it just made me laugh at their persistence and um, how they did that so and this is one day when it has attacking my cushions she's trying to rip them apart and I was shouting at her this is me out again for another long walk and there's beautiful highland cows out um, in the fields nearby you can't really see them here but they're just so cute and furry and with their cute little horns I've never seen them here I've only ever really seen them in Aberdeen or Dundee when I went out that way so it was quite rare to see them here but it was nice to enjoy beautiful countryside and fresh air so this isn't something I normally do this is not an ad this is just something that I wanted to share with you these are some new products that I got it's bespoke shampoo uh, conditioner and body wash for my skin concerns so I have like dry scalp and I want fuller thicker hair I want stronger hair I just put all my skin concerns in and hair concerns and they made the special formula especially for my skin and you can see on the label it says in it function of course are it comes with little stickers so you can personalize the bottles as well and it goes through all your skin concerns and or your hair concerns and um, you can get like you can get it for all sorts of concerns you can get you can pick the color that you want you can pick the strength of the smell you can pick the scent that you want um, and some similarly with the body wash as well you just pick 
the colour and the scent that you like. And this is one more thing that I bought as well, and it's a Denman brush. I've heard really, really good things about it. I've seen it on TikTok. I see people they use it to curl their hair, which I've not really got to work for me. But if you've got any good feedback in any of these products, please leave me a wee comment and give me some advice just in case I'm doing it wrong. So that's something that I just wanted to share with you. And one of the days we were, we went to Drumpelia Country Park just once I finished work. And as you can see, it's not sunny, it was dull. And there was loads of ducks in the water. And um, there's little five little ducks. It's so cute. This is a nursery rhyme that I sing to Erha all the time. And it was so cute seeing these little baby ducklings uh, swimming. And um, the kids just went and played in the park. And we got a little bit of a walk as well, so that was a really, really nice day. Even though the weather's not been that good, we're still trying to make the most of it, even if it's dry, trying to get out for walks or go to the park. Try and make the most of the summer holidays and while the kids are off or Ibrahim's off. So that's just, it's just so cute. I just loved watching these little um, ducks swimming around doing their thing. They're having a great time on the swing. She's refusing to get off them. She actually didn't want to. She could have stayed there all night. She really, really enjoyed it. And this is both kids on the seesaw. <laughs> and I was impressed. So this is the main event of the raw vlog. And it's strawberry picking. We went to this place. It's right next to the Glasgow airport. It's called East Yonderton Farm. You pick the tub uh, size that you want and those are the prices per kilograms. So the tub, large tubs hold 4 kilos and the blue baskets hold I think about 2 kilos. Um, we pick 2 large baskets and here you can pick peas and potatoes and gooseberries and all sorts of things like that. And you just pick a basket and go to the field really but we just wanted to go strawberry picking. So we had to walk really far to get to the strawberries. And the strawberries were delicious. They were so nice, fresh, sweet. I'd highly recommend that and it was such a fun activity. I remember doing it, um, going strawberry picking when I was young. And it's one of my fondest only memories of actually going out and doing something. Because my parents worked all the time. So you can see here we're just kind of going through the strawberry plants, picking the strawberries. It had just watched us and then followed suit. She was really, really good at it as well. I thought she would have been scared or, you know, not really wanting to do it, but she just kind of rummaged, got some strawberries, got a strawberry out. She picked really nice ones as well and then cleaned it and then put it into the bucket. So you can see here, it's so simple and it doesn't take long for the bucket to fill. We really enjoyed it and we really enjoyed the taste. We are going to go back as soon as we can get booked. They are really busy. Um, my mum really wanted to do the peas, pick the peas, and um, that would be good for your salads and making it, or I love to travel with fresh peas, I mean, fresh fruit and vegetable, you just can't beat it, especially when you're picking it yourself and you're bringing it home, washing it, cleaning it, there's no pesticides, there's no chemicals, there's no processing involved. It was really good. I can't tell you how good it was. I actually made strawberry ice cream and I froze some of the strawberries for smoothies and shakes you can make like strawberry cheesecake or jam there's the airport right next to it we're all getting really excited when we were seeing a plane this day we went the weather was gorgeous it was so nice it was actually really really hot so ideally if we were going to go pick a day when it's hot you don't want to be doing this in the rain and getting all dirty so this is what we picked we picked there was about 1.8 kilograms in one bucket and 1.5 kilograms in the other bucket so we didn't fill it to the brim because we didn't want too much. So romantic. And this is... Erha, don't squash the strawberry plants, darling. Erha not wanting to leave. She was actually wanting to she pick wants some to more pick strawberries. More. See her, her darling, method come on. Uh, in the way that she does it. It's just so <laughs> cute. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I really like this video. Because she's really good at she's it. She's cleaning the strawberry and then she's putting it into the bucket. She really enjoyed doing it. She was really good at it. I'm, I'm really proud of her and I'd like to take her again. So this is us just heading back. For my baked bin called fresh up in a hat air hacky hat to pick key her strawberries. A bit of fresh air, Ibrahim. Uh, 
So you can see it's a really, really nice day out. It's a nice wee walk, it's a nice wee family time. You can see there's loads of people that have came out. And it's good if you want to make a day of it while the weather's nice and pick other different things as well. You won't get any fresher and tastier food or fruit and vegetable like that. And for those of us that are missing our holidays, we liked watching the planes uh, take off and land. So that was a nice additional um, part of the day. This is me looking awful with my strawberries. This is us heading out and I just wanted to show you the planes. This is a, a training facility here to drive the planes. Um, so we had lunch at Barata Box a little drive back into Glasgow as we headed home so we just got a burrata and rice and chicken and pink tea so it was really nice. Hey guys welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking Ibrahim to see his best friend who he hasn't seen for about a year and a half because he changed school and then Covid happened so Where are we going? She's so naughty. Are we? I don't know. I'm not afraid, are we? Have you been here before? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it's so fun. What do you like about it the most? Um, I like the stand. So I didn't get a reaction clip of Abby meeting his friend, but he was having so much fun. That's him playing on the jelly beans and if you're a subscriber to my channel you'll know that I've done a full vlog here and um, this is Ibrahim on the go-karts and you can see there's animals, llamas, goats and um, that you can feed you by the feed and then you give them it oh, and this is the boys catching up with their Pokemon cards and there's a train if you've seen my previous video and I'll put a link in below um, there's a train that you can sit on and it takes you all the way around the park so you can see all of the animals again. It's a really nice, it's a nice size, it's not too difficult to walk round and the animals are really cute, hungry. <laughs> They're chasing you basically around the park to be fed. They just have so much attitude, they'll just feed us or go away. Maybe he's too far away that nobody comes to see him. Oh, look at me broken, broken little reindeer horns. No, I got you, don't want mine. Look, do I get like this?
Did I look? Llama? Llama?